So here we are again. It's March the 21st. And uh, we have another, another nor'easter. So my son just came home early from work. It's actually only like 11 right now. <coughs> I was just about to go outside to feed the chickens and just as I was walking out the back door, here he comes. So he said he would feed the chickens for me. So there he goes. Um, so I gave him like two slices of just regular bread that went stale and uh, some a cabbage wedge. <coughs> He's so goofy. Anyway, so um, I don't like to put the feed, the f you know, like leftover food inside the coop. So I haven't put it on the bottom of the coop because chickens do choose to venture out and they usually don't on this kind of snow. Um, then they can eat the stuff on the bottom. I don't like to have them picking at the, or not picking at the, the food on inside the coop because <clears throat> I don't want to take the chance that maybe they don't eat the food and it kind of sits there and rots away and <clears throat> starts to invite like a vermin and whatever. I don't want any of that so anyway. My husband bought like two big cabbages, they're giants. Two giant cabbages a couple days ago. And he was like, how come you didn't feed it to the chickens? So I was like, well, you know, usually I don't give chickens cabbage like that. You know, it's only when we have a nice, a nice um, blizzard or whatever. And I just put chicken, put the cabbage in the chicken coop so that they can keep themselves busy and not get bored and start pecking at each other. <clears throat> so, you know, here I was thinking that, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day and it's late for putting cabbage in the chicken coop, but it did come in time. So, there you have it. Now he's gonna try and see if he can get to the nest box. <laughs> I'm so glad that he can do this for me because that snow is pretty deep already. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's about eight inches by now. And my legs are kind of weak and um, having to venture out into this kind of weather is very difficult for me. So I'm super thankful for my son being home from work today. So there you go. <laughs> and of course the chickens are kind of being too shy to come out. Chickens, chickens are kind of scared of the snow. They're literally chicken. Oh, there she goes. Brownie came out too. Okay, so now they're going under the coop, which is exactly what I was hoping. <clears throat> That's a bag of cereal that I threw out earlier for the birds, the songbirds, because uh, everybody was hanging on the trees, looking very hungry. And there's Thumbelina. I don't know if you can see her. She just went this way. She's trying to snag some food. And there's my son trying to make a nice path for me. It's probably not going to make any difference because uh, later on, that snow having fallen for so many hours is just going to be 
very deep anyway. But anyway, it's still nice. <coughs> I wish you could see Thumbelina's down there with the chickens. I see her little head. Anyway, so he's in and this is the end of the video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.